one of the big challenges we've got is trying to work out how to conserve our genetic resources with climate change going on. I think that's going to be a really difficult thing for the future for us to work out useful systems that people can use on the ground. And I think our advice on that is going to be very important. I suppose that we're already now getting to the point where we've got a proper European-wide gene conservation unit sort of stra- network, which is a very useful basis for further further strategies. Um, and some of the ideas on genetic monitoring, I think, are going to be very important for the future. We can actually see how things are changing in a properly rigorous way. I suppose the work that we undertook on forest reproductive materials and the rules around that and identifying it will be the basis of... Uh, providing advice on how to move material around Europe in place once dealing with climate change and changing uh, uh, sort of natural ranges and ecological boundaries. I mean, in our country, it's just arrived, the ash disease, so we're, we're faced with sort of trying to deal with it and coming up with ideas. But we're, I, I suppose for us, it will be looking, seeing how far we want to look outside of Britain for uh, sources of resistant uh, ash when we start breeding uh, for the future, which I think we will do. But we will need to think quite carefully as if we, whether we want to go abroad. You know, the Danes already have 100 resistant individuals. I think there will be a discussion to be had about whether, whether we just use those 100 individuals or whether actually French material might be better for us. Well, it certainly will, helps the, the sort of discussions that we're having and the, and the, the contacts that, are, that we make are, are vital, really, for our work. This is where it's very useful. It's not just the, the concrete outputs, but the chance to meet colleagues across Europe. And that sort of cross-fertilisation of ideas is, is, is really key uh, for, for, our, for our work. It's, an, it's helped us uh, in the past very much in dealing with the idea of uh, how we react to climate change and how we, uh, have, well, how we develop strategies for dealing with climate change. And there was a big meeting actually here in Paris in 2006 which sparked off the ideas which then led to a paper that I wrote with a colleague, Joan Cottrell, which has sort of then gone into a policy in, in Britain and how we deal with um, this issue going forward. So it, it, it's kind of, you see, it takes a while. It takes a while. It's very difficult to say, oh, this one has done that. But in this case, you can see the progression of the ideas that came out of that conference being sort of discussed and chewed over by ourselves and by colleagues here and then finally coming into sort of concrete examples. We know each other, we've worked together. It makes it very, uh, it's very important, I think, in the fact we can develop these kind of Europe-wide ideas. I don't, there's not that many good examples uh, of this kind of work in other areas of research, forestry research anyway, that I can think of.